Welcome back folks to Let's Play Fantasy General. Last time we left off, we conquered the Horut Forest. And now we have cornered King Draga. Let's go ahead and attack Sinahem Valley. The Council of Five has received warning that King Draga petitioned the Shadow Lord for support. However, reluctantly, the Shadow Lord has agreed. Undoubtedly, King Draga will attempt to bog down your forces with minor skirmishes, but you cannot allow that to happen. Castle Dragarium must be taken before those reinforcements arrive or your effort to reclaim Ire is doomed. King Draga has also pillaged the nearby villages of Norcross and Marbeck to supply his troops. The Shadow Lord's Fist, too, has tightened about the throats of his subjugated people. We have passed the point of simple rebellion and enter into a war where total victory is Ire's only hope of survival. Okay. This is our deployment zone. We have a couple of cities, the city of Norcross and Fettertone, and a cave. We have another deployment zone here, in the city of Felia. We have Marbeck over here with the Shrine of Anarch over here. Castle Dragario sits here in a very wide open area. Okay. So, Corporal, you deploy over here. Sarge, you deploy over there. We have another sergeant though. Sure, why not? Go over there. Heavy infantry, heavy infantry, light infantry, where do I want light infantry to go? I don't know, there's not much, there's not much space for light infantry. Just go wherever you want. Skirmishers? Sure. We have bowmen over here and bowmen over there. Cavalry and cavalry. We have a Sky Hunter and a Siege Engine. The Sky Hunter goes... Uh, I don't know. Here? The Siege Engine can go right here. Let us begin. Okay, Lord Marcus. Let's move. Let's follow this road so we can get inside there. Uh, oh. Hello. Let's provide some fire support over there. What the hell? Okay, never mind. I cut myself, I don't know how. Let's keep moving my light infantry honestly this way. Okay, you guys keep moving forward as best as you can. Are you? Yes. Warbands, skirmishers, don't care. Everybody keeps moving. Do not slack, please. There you go. Peasants. More peasants. Okay, the Sky Hunter. Honestly. Go over here. Wait, wait, go over here. Okay, we got some archers here. They can potentially reach the Sky Hunter, which is a problem. Okay, he's retreating. He's retreating. I can move through this area. Right there. Uh, you go over there. You go over there. Get me some fire support, then we can move over here then. Okay, as for you guys, I can start attacking with not good effort or results, sorry. We can kick these guys out of the shrine. And now we can start moving forward with our troops. You guys move over there. You guys need to move over there. You can... Oh, you can go this way. Go this way. Be smart. Okay. He's going to attack my cavalry. He took a beating. Yeah, you killed one. That's not good. Okay. So, things are going a little bit... I've got mixed feeling for this thing. Right, let's move over here. We can shoot these guys. And... I can move you, like... Right here. Shoot these suckers. And you can... Oh, I have an idea. Now, if I move over here... I also have my militia that I can use. Let's not forget that. There you go. My peasants got some experience. Good job, lads. 
Let's get this show rolling. Yes, you move over there. Cavalry, you honestly need to rest a little bit. You can start moving this way. Give me a second, I got the phone. Back, sorry. So, as we were uh, doing things, we've got Discovery wounded. Sarge, you need to start nailing this sucker. Corporal, go on ahead, kill this guy. And you can start pew pewing on this guy. Excellent, you need to rest. You need to rest. You can go and take this one. Your troops found magical armor. Goblins harang with you with gibbering shouts as they spring forward to grab it. Too late. Improves armor by 10 and magic defense by 10. Uh, sorry, improves armor by 3 and magic defense by 10. Well, not bad. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Sure, everything will be fine. And end the turn. Can't do much. Okay, you are taking the volunteers, which is fine by me. You killed two of my swordsmen, because you had to kill the swordsmen. Damn it. Alright, so. Uh, we can't do much. Cavalry, assault these fellas. Peasants. Take the city. These guys are still alive. Amazing. Kill them with the siege engines. Excellent job. Uh huh. Sarge, move over there. Start hammering this guy. You can only rest by one, that's fine. There you go. Get bent. You need to rest. Right, so these guys are all flowing towards me. Now, I can fight in open terrain. Get the advantage on these guys. Uh, Corporal, you can move over here. You are surrounded though. You can move over here and uh, nail these suckers. Right, Sarge, what can you do? Uh, you could assault these goblins. Right, so I'm in a very weird position. Okay, can you dethrone these guys? You can. Can we take this city now? Yes. Okay, I don't want them to, re to regroup though, so we're gonna send you guys over here. Okay. I think that was a bad move for the skirmishes, but what can you do? Uh, honestly, you just move there, you move there and do some fire support. Nothing else to do here but to keep pressing forward. Right, so he's, he's doing things I can't see, but we can go over here and kick your ass, no problem. Ooh, that was that was nasty. That was super nasty. So if I send you down here, okay, we did some damage. I can send you here and deal with this. Uh, you really killed three people out of spite for my troops all right you can go in here deep in the cave you come across Boric stiff bear digging furiously in the rock walls gesturing at the veinless rock with a shrug he joins your army well welcome to the party uh, Boric we might lose these guys but I have no other choice Okay, these guys are orcs. Okay, we're in trouble. Unless we find a way to split them. Which is already telling. You go and kill these guys. Or just... No, just kill them. There you go, get some experience. As for you guys... How about... Yes, you rest. You move, you move these guys over here. 
archers provide fire support and yeah you go over there sure no because you can get you can get killed quite easily if you do so all right let's rest the cavalry rest these guys and then we're gonna move forward okay Zwerzman's finally not taking damage I don't even know how you guys are dealing that much damage I don't even ha know how it's possible but you did take a lot of damage right so we can assault this uh, town let us uh, move backward right so we have these guys um, cavalry needs to rest but Boric can move forward we need to take care of these guys though okay you can take you can move over here and deal with these cronies uh, you can go over here stand still okay you can go over here and you can go over here provide fire support now on this side we have a full contingent of cavalry and peasants now I would like to eliminate these guys but with whom okay you can do that you can do that uh, but then as you can see oh I know you well they cannot rest that is good okay so we've got to rest these three guys we've got our skirmishes over here which are I don't know end the turn and see what happens Okay, defensive fire proccing. These guys are destroying me. Okay, I don't know what's going on. And it's not good. Right, so cavalry, you can move forward. Get ready. And we are going to take this city probably next turn. We can start pelting at these guys you can rest you need to start beating these guys with the uh, suppressive fire you will just go and kill the cavalry thanks Sarge how would you feel about kicking this guy's ass good as for you as for you I would say you can stay here Okay, we have a problem. We can take these guys out. No problem. Now, this leaves them very open right here. I can use my peasants to get this troop a little bit surrounded. So if I can move my cavalry into a good position nice we cannot take the archers down that's for sure which means now I have to move you guys north you Sarge go over there provide some fast support peasants close the gap over here skirmishers start moving I don't know where the Sky Hunters went. We have nine turns left. Oh, you're trying to get that city. That is nasty. So you're trying to take that city, but I have. I wanted to keep my cavalry for that, but we're gonna have to use it for these guys. Okay, Boric, take this city with the help of siege cannons. There you go. City is ours. Now how do I exactly nail these suckers? I can move over here. 
We did take some damage, but the city is ours and there's nothing you can do. I can move some skirmishers over here. Now you can kill these guys. And now you can uh, bog this guy down. Uh, you can... We need to kill this guy. Sorry, there is no other choice. As for you... You need to go and help some people, but how? There you go. This is gonna be a problem. These bombardiers are gonna do a lot of damage. Unless I somehow find a way... Ooh. This is a good target. This is a pretty good target, so let's try and uh, kill these suckers. We can try and attack these archers for sure. There you go. And we can move in. Close our formation. You skirmishers can honestly go right there and do some shenanigans. Uh, you can... Where can you go? You can go over here and help these guys fight these uh, bronze men. Which are proving to be quite a challenge. Okay, so... Mm, you can attack these guys. You can... Ooh. You can go over... Uh, I don't know. Sure, no, stay over there. You just rest. You cannot. You need to go over here, close to these guys. Right, so let's stay put. We have the city under siege. And... These guys can come in here and destroy my siege engines. That's a problem. The same can be said for basically... Yeah, you have like 6 armor, you have 3 armor. I don't know if I can... No, I can't do anything. Let's drop a faster save and end the turn. Okay, you killed two of my bowmen, that's nasty. You, you need to stop killing my troops, by the way. It's very, very, very annoying. Okay, let's kill this bowman. I don't want to lose ends. When I say kill bowman, I mean kill bowman. I don't know what's so hard to understand. We have to kill these guys. When I say kill these guys, I really mean kill these guys. Okay, you can start. Okay, I can breathe easy now. So, let's go back, I suppose. I suppose you can rest. You cannot rest, because you just attacked the ogres. Ah, you can stay right there. You need to rest. Boric, go forward. You rest, get those four people back up and running. And you can start by attacking this guy. Now, as for my range, uh, sorry, my sky units, I can prevent these guys from doing shenanigans. Right. You can attack these guys. Excellent. You can attack the cavalry over here. Excellent. You can keep attacking on the cavalry. And, well, there is not much else to do, so we're gonna just have to wait. Right, so, cavalry. Let's keep you a little bit safe. We still have these peasants, they can attack. Who? Who can you attack? I... maybe... There's a little bit of a problem here. I can rest, which is the best thing to do. 
Seven turns left. Okay, you are attacking my slingers. Okay, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, bro. Okay, first of all, how the fuck did you actually destroy all my peasants over here? But whatever. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, my the enemy cavalry is there. We need to kill the cavalry. The question is, how? How do I kill the enemy cavalry without dying? That's the real question, guys. Let us begin by having the cavalry charge these throwers. Excellent. My... Okay, you need to go and kill these guys. Excellent job. Now, if only I could... If only I could reach this cavalry and kill them. That would be great. You, Corporal, just slip it through. And you just... Oh, you're gonna be in trouble if I do that. You just stay here. Now, I could theoretically not do that. How can I not reach that location? I have no clue. We can destroy this thing. Excellent. Now, technically, I could move here, attack these guys, and then get completely clusterfucked. Okay, so we have some issues. Uh, we need to we need to be careful because we have the they have the potential of screwing with some of my units. Okay, so let's end the turn. Okay, like they're, they're going everywhere, which is quite freaking annoying. Where the hell are you going? Like, I can go in here, but I'm gonna get destroyed by this unit. Or I can rest. Okay, let's destroy this guy. I think it's time we start putting a dent in his stupid army. Right, you need to rest. Okay, let's start by killing these suckers. I want them dead. You can rest, you can only recover three though. Okay, so if I do this, I need to find a way. You destroy this guy, or don't. Go, they're dead. Now I can destroy this infantry. Excellent. Now I can destroy this infantry by sheer power. Okay, thanks. You will not rest. Now I can move right here with my cavalry. Oh, we have these archers. These archers are very annoying. Uh, can we do anything about them? It seems so. Okay, we can send the sky hunters here to prevent them from resting. <laughs> we don't have these guys. Okay, where can I put my rain? Okay, archers go over there. 
end the turn. We have five turns. Okay, they commit the seppuku. Okay, that was good. That was good. They have four turns left. We need to destroy that cavalry. I'm telling you, we have to destroy this cavalry. Okay, um... Damn, I need to move my cavalry over there. Okay, you peasants do this. And start moving down. Right, so we can destroy these archers with my archers. No problem there. Now, uh, you guys... Boric, how about you destroy these uh, suckers? Okay, how about you move here first? Boric, you got some extra damage. Have fun. You can start by first throw... Let's land some fire over there. Now, am I missing something? Is someone running away from his responsibilities? It doesn't seem so. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. Okay, you just... You just stay there. You guys need to rest. You need to rest. Okay, let's end the turn. I want to see where the enemy is. He's got only this troop. Okay, cavalry, you are very experienced. Okay, you guys need some help. Okay, peasants. The cavalry is doing a great job. Honestly, I don't see anyone here. So I think we can safely start preparing for a good siege here. There you go. And kill them. Take Dragaris Castle. And we've won! In the treasure vaults of King Draga's castle, you find an amulet of resistance and 250 gold pieces. Some is spent on research. Volunteers leave your army to return home. Yay! We're moving to this continent. Word of your triumph over King Draga has spread quickly. People are rejoicing for the first time since Fire Isle rose from the depths of the sea. On the Isle of Four Winds, the peasants have perhaps begun to rejoice too heartily. They took up arms against Alcar the Shadow Wizard and even managed to liberate a few villages in the Northwest. Alcar was quick to respond, however, slaughtering whole villages and raising the dead in unspeakable rituals. You have only a brief time before those armies of undead overwhelm the peasants and your opportunity to liberate the Isle of Four Winds is lost. The Council of Five has also learned that the Shadow Lord emerged from his seclusion on Fire Isle and is oiling the wheels of war. He sent the renowned Mechmaster Ferris to the Isle of Four Winds and is forcing him to build a host of war machines for Elkar. Well, that's cheerful. New heavy infantry available, new light infantry available, new skirmishes available, new archers available, new spellcasters available. Cool. Uh, we still have to get these guys upgraded, I guess. It is what it is. Let's manage my army. We have an amulet of resistance, which I'm gonna give to my first cavalry here. I'm sure... No, 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 no. I'm gonna give it to... The Sky Hunters. They will be targeted by enemy spells. Alright, so let's upgrade my units. The peasants can upgrade to militia. There you go. And you guys can be upgraded to these guys. 
You guys can be upgraded to Longbowman, which is great. You guys can't not be upgraded to anything, you to anything, you to anything. So, we have some gold. I think we can start taking on some extra troops, so to speak. We need a couple of these guys. And I'm gonna take another siege engine, so we have two of them. And the last one will probably have to be a spellcaster, but we do not have the money for that. Seems like a good army now. Um, heavy infantry, I can only take the warbands. Not sure if this is a good idea to take another heavy infantry. We have a lot of heroes and uh, stuff. But I will say that for now, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So we're gonna save and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.